Okay, this is one of the top boards that came out of my hive, and you can see the propolis where they've tried to glue it shut <laughs> on the sides and on the ends. But the idea for winter is to cut an opening in here, lay some a piece of queen excluder over that hole, and then build a little box that sits on top of it. That will be a cavity they can come up into above that that nucleus. They're going to be balling into in the winter and that would just be right above them and they could eat from that. Okay, not bad. Now I just got to decide how big the top board is going to be. I think six yeah, six inches still works. So now I'm just going to come back and cut an opening inside that. Just enough for the bees to be able to get in. But I want a margin of wood around that to staple this too. If I decide to staple this down, I may not staple it because I would like to be able to take it off and clean around that edge. Pretty, but it works. Then we have our nice, pretty six by twelve board. Now I need the side pieces that'll create the void or the gap underneath. So I found this trusty one by two. <laughs> It's painted, but I don't think the bees will mind. I was trying to use all natural lumber in my hive and nothing painted, but I don't think this is going to hurt. This is basically what we're looking at now, so I just got to put it all together. So there we go. Very cool. You can put your jewelry in this or. <laughs> what I'm going to do is put fondant or actually, like I was saying earlier, it's uh, the grease mixture, uh, like the grease patty mixture, the lard, the Crisco, and the sugar. My wife was going to the store and I said, Hey, get me a you know big thing of Crisco. And she says, Oh, we have Crisco. I said, Are you sure? And she said, Yes. And I come in here and look. <laughs> it's a little tiny baby can. So all I'm gonna be able to mix up is the ratio of this to the sugar, which I think is one of these for four sugars. So we'll see how it works out. Here. 
it's really nice hard to mix as you think it would be. I don't know why I thought this was going to be hard to mix. It's just, after a certain point you get in here, I start needing it. This is like dry feed, or like, um, feed you can give the bees in the winter that won't freeze. And, um, they like it. Looks like I'm going to have just enough, too. I see, Alex, this will turn upside down over from the top of the pot boards. Uh -huh. And I'll be able to come up from underneath and eat it. What do you think, Barrett? It's pretty cool, though. So, hopefully, what's going to happen is I'm going to turn this upside down. And you know how they're always hanging out on the bottom mm -hmm. of our boards? What I'm going to do is just raise that up and let them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just slide this over there and um, slide them out of the way. I know. He's mad. Just don't get so mad so easy, guys. <laughs> Go around front and go back in, dummy. Mm. All right, so that was pretty good. We only got one bee uh, out. See them? Can you see them in there? We haven't still not seen any, any hive beetles. Yeah. Uh, normally we would have seen them running around on top of the... So what I'm going to do, I was kind of hoping to see them. See them checking out. Yeah, here comes one. So, <laughs> I'm gonna. Interesting. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that on there, because that um, the worker bee can get through that great. Oh, okay. See, so eventually, as they eat it out, I hope that's gonna fit under the roof. Dang, I didn't think about that. Huh. Let's check to see if this thing's gonna close right quick. All right. Oh, good. I was going to worry there for a minute. <laughs> so, that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. And that's, that's really what I'm trying to do, is make it winter feeding easy. Let's we'll give those guys a little smoke. Watch him walk up the. Can you see him walking up the board? Yep. <laughs> Are they coming after you? <laughs> they were getting interested. <laughs> uh, just put your head right over the hole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make this a jackass you. video. Yeah. yeah, that would be a jackass. <laughs> So, oh, poor little flow frame got dirty. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I was thinking about these is I don't think I don't I don't think this would keep them as warm in the winter, and I know they're not supposed to be used for um, for the cluster. You would this would really not be in the hive in winter, but I would think that they would have a hard time clustering uh, a wax frame. The wax would transfer heat better, I would think. But this hasn't been proven, so that's just a, an observation. And uh, can't beat the natural world, right? Can't beat nature. That's true. It has proven that many times. So, and when the spring comes, when spring comes and we make a new hive, we'll uh, get that into a new hive. Barrett, our heat tape hack works pretty good. Well, we've been going about 30 minutes and look I can grab the yeah that cool mm-hmm so you can take a cheap a cheap smoker works pretty good too yeah for a cheap smoker it works pretty good we just had to find the right material to burn yeah pine straw oh 
Yeah, you can't touch that part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stung and burnt, huh, Dad? Stung and burnt. Wow. Beekeeper's wife. We'll come back next week and check that uh, mixture and see how they're taking to it. I'm a little worried that, I mean, it's five pounds there. I put five yeah. pounds of sugar in that in that mixture, and I'm hoping it's not going to droop through, you know, because when you turn it upside down, obviously gravity's going to work against you. I'm hoping that queen excluder will act as a mat, and it'll have enough surface tension there that it won't ooze through the the cracks, mm -hmm. and that they can eventually go up through the queen excluder and eat out the part that's laying on top of the board. Anyway, enough rambling. Uh, <laughs> I'll make another one. Well, what I'm going to do is wait to see how that one does. We're trying to experiment before winter. I don't want to exper experiment in the winter. So I want to get this feeding down. I may have to take that feeder. If that feeder works well, I'm going to take out the, uh, the internal feeder and put a, maybe a couple of frames in there because they're going crazy, aren't they, Barrett? They're, they're, I'm afraid they're going to run out of space and want to take off on me to go find a tree stump somewhere. Uh, so, anyway, battery's getting low. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. You want to go check out the bulls? Yeah. <laughs> There's Feisty Boy over there. You know, he's not paying any attention to us today. Poor old firecracker. She's over there in the other pasture. We don't get to see her anymore. Yeah. Nice.